The Government of Canada sincerely apologizes and asks the forgiveness of the Aboriginal peoples of this country for failing them so profoundly. All is not forgotten when someone is forgiven. Words to say to soften up the hardness that I'm living in. I hate to say indifference is becoming my religion, but I haven't learned to pray in ways to satisfy tradition. When I think about identity, I think about my language, how my folks were taught it would be to my advantage. To learn a foreign tongue, they could not foresee the damage. Damn shame when it happens, you don't see it till it passes. So where's all the support for Nishnabe mowing classes? Assimilation tactics left no room for us to practice, and I really wish I could adjust. Yeah, I really wish I could have just. Listen with my heart and not my ego, I was fragile Conditioned by the world to think my culture wasn't passed down But I learned the generosity, it's in my genealogy So fuck all the bureaucracy and keep all your apologies I know you're sorry, but you're more lost than me Your land's across the ocean and I'm right where I should be And I reckon this damnation will force reconciliation Down the throats of our survivors and the people it's displacing I know you're sorry, and now you call on me to fix the broken hearts created by your policies And these are the things that I think I know I am but a leaf on a tree that grows its roots in the ground Like a seed that's sown in the dirt of the earth is where I was born It's where I will return When this journey ends and I've earned what I've learned So tell me to get over it I'm so fucking over it Steal everything in sight and teach me about private ownership Bleach everything you like and teach me about Pride of ownership Bleach my inherent rights and tell me that I never owned this shit As generations pass your life as if you never noticed it While there's kids committing suicide as a way out of the hopelessness I know you're sorry you say you're not to blame Fill your heart to brim with guilt but not an ounce of shame Break branches off of family trees and tell us times have changed But the focus of this genocide at root remains intact So instead of killing Indian kids, why don't we kill this Indian act?